People in Placer County have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars to scammers since the year started. KCRA3's Maricela de la Cruz joins us live now with details about the most recent crime where a scammer impersonated a deputy through a phone call. Yes, Edie, well, most of these scams happened in January, but that most recent one happened last week where the scammer was impersonating a Placer County Sheriff's deputy. In that incident, the victim paid more than $15,000 in Bitcoin. More than half a million dollars lost collectively after seven people fell victim to scammers. But nearly $600,000 in a matter of weeks, that's uh, probably one of the first for us. The scams happened in Placer County. Last week, the most recent victim got a call from someone claiming to be from the sheriff's office and requested money. The victim ended up paying thousands of dollars in Bitcoin to avoid being arrested. I think this is probably one of the first times that we've learned or received a report that they're asking for money in form of Bitcoin. Um, that's a little bit different. Um, but nonetheless, the victim unfortunately fell for the scam and um, handed over $18,000 to that scammer in the form of Bitcoin. In this case, the scammer was pretending to be a deputy, but officials warned that this isn't part of their process. When you have an arrest warrant, you're, you're going to go to jail. Um, you can't pay money in exchange for your arrest warrant. Um, potentially, if you're arrested, you can pay bail. You know, everybody's struggling right now. So to hear someone getting scammed like that is, you know, makes it, I don't know. Christy J, an 11-year business owner in Auburn, says that while they haven't fallen victim to scammers, they aren't strangers to suspicious requests. So when we post up on Craigslist all of our used bikes. And says they're cautious, whether it's an email, a phone call, or a text message. People saying, oh, you know, um, we're interested in the bike, um, and then enter this code, and then we will, um, if you can ship it to us. So we always just delete it. And to keep better track of these scams, the Placer County Sheriff's Office is asking residents who believe that they've been contacted by scammers to file an online crime report, even if they didn't fall for the scam. Live in Auburn, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.